Previously on the Aviator Show, the Limitless Adventures continue out west. Day one included a perfect morning ridge soaring, point of the mountain, before heading out to Hanksville, where the caravan picked up a hitchhiking ghost. Corey Robin surprised us all as he tore up the backcountry flying harder than any paramotor pilot has ever seen. Allison. This week on the Aviator Show, the crew prepare for a cross country gonna hit rotor. that will test their formation skills as well as their active piloting skills. So uh, where's AAA if I get a flat tire? Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, the LZ's completely covered in cactus. I don't know if you put slime in there or not, but might have to. Will Ghost get stranded? Will the team find a way off the mountain? It's all in this week's episode of The Aviator Show. Same thing as always, no more than 60% of our ability, don't push it. This is not the time. It's gonna be high density altitude, it's about 5,900 feet right now. All right guys, it is currently 7.28 in the morning. We have a super fun flight planned with Corey. He's got a bush plane as you saw that just a second ago. We're gonna do some formation flying. We're gonna try and land on a wingtip of an airplane. We're gonna just get some sick paramotor footage. And uh, I'm here to take you guys with me. Also, we're launching in like, I don't know, a few minutes and I'm mostly ready. I'll be fine. It seriously feels like I'm back on the Adventure Wingman trip again. I'm having slight PTSD. It's the same pants I wore, it's the same boots I wore, same gloves. Judson wore this jacket, but everything else is the same. All right, I'm gonna let my wings sniff the road around. Yo, what up, Eric Farewell? Look at that, the whole gang's here. Gang's all here. Oh my gosh, there's an airplane. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So landed on top of this uh, butte and uh, walking over to a cliff's edge. I didn't want to taxi around too much. There's a ton of cactus up here. That makes for potentially flat tires, and I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> oh, you know, just a carpet cup, no big deal. Just everyday kind of stuff. Huge 35 inch Alaska tires, no big deal at all, boys. There's just a fucking airplane. Sorry, so whoever edits this, probably myself, I'm gonna have to bleep out that word every single time. This is so stinking cool. That shot is funny! Oh my gosh! What the f That shot was so good! Here's 
are they landing? Oh, they are. What the heck is life? <laughs> it is pretty cool landing on top of a beautiful shot. That's yeah. pretty awesome. All the stokes? I don't think you, I don't think you can point it. What do you think of our uh, LZ? It's freaking awesome, man. We don't have these in Florida, and I just love... I mean, think about how many people ever have been up here. Like, how many people? Like, 50? 100? We are way out here. <laughs> so, uh, where's AAA if I get a flat tire? I know what's like, wrong with it. <laughs> ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> that would not be a very fun moment. <laughs> I'm glad there's actually wind now. Yeah. I failed yeah, two we'll launches. Okay. I don't fail launches. I failed two launches. And I was on TikTok that. Live with only about 700 people watching. Nice. Farewell, Thanks for that. that. <laughs> You're like, hey, it was Eric. Yeah, yeah. Eric, farewell. Did you see my launch? What happened with your launch, Trevor? Oh, I was set up completely crosswind, so yeah. I just sent it anyways. Took a little collapsey thingy. Did a little breaky thingy. Hit some throttly thingy, and I got up. Popped up. Whoop. Nice. Go. <laughs> yeah, it was cherry. Everybody did great. Wait I'm till really you see the footage. Our buddy Matt got f***ing blasted by the first wing, the second wing, then the airplane. Yes. Still took off first time. Nice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Matt. Did good too. That's gonna be you such a, a huge, takeoff. huge boost. Like, oh yeah. Getting over that hump. I think we're gonna take off and go back because we have two things go against back. us. One, fuel burn. You're the only one with enough gas, and the winds are howling up there. Okay. Yeah, at about right. 300 feet, it's at least 10 faster than this. When you descend through that layer, it's going to be weird. Okay. I, it might not be a bad idea to be in like a little bit of a, a, little bit of a spiral. Pull some Gs. Do you think we should get G? out? You, out you know what I would do? Like, I'm going to descend through it over the airport. Okay. The rotor's just going to slowly decline. You know what? Okay, we so should take off first. mild in the airplane than it looks like from the ground, just to be honest. <laughs> no. No, it really is. No, I mean, I was in the cockpit with you. It's <laughs> red. <laughs> you can't downplay it. Okay. It's my secret. It's <laughs> super fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to see this shot, dude. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I need those oh, to be please. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was tremendous. Oh, man. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Inbound. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> that was so ridiculous. <laughs> that was freaking big! Okay, here comes the next one. 
It's fun though, right? <laughs> ah! So much energy. And, and you have a good message that you want to deliver about mental awareness. Can we, can we go a little deeper? Sure, if you want. You know, I lost my sister in 2020 to suicide. Literally the day before I was FaceTiming with her. She was smiling, she was energetic, she was happy. We had really connected through some traumatic experiences that we were both going through in our lives. And so we had gotten to the point where we were talking multiple times a day on the phone and just checking in with each other and, and, and helping each other. And in the middle of all that, she still took her life. It's just a kick to the gut, right? Uh, so the last few years, I've just really focused on empowering people to just realize that their worth is there that difficult circumstances are typically short-lived and there's usually a light at the end of the tunnel even if you can't see it. Sometimes it's right behind you. Sometimes you have to stop the direction that you're going and turn around to see that light in the tunnel. But really, it's, sometimes it's just a matter of just taking that mental health break, pausing, reevaluating where you're at, and just trying to be a little healthier. Trying is a great first step. Right? We don't have to actually set these huge lofty goals that, oh, I want to be this or I want to be that great thing in the future, some future that's so far away. It's much easier, at least from my perspective, at least in my life, to just kind of take those little steps. And after a lot of those little steps, you make good progress and you'll start to notice that progression. And that's one of the most difficult things to do when you're in a mental health crisis. So one of the things I like to do is just encourage people to just maintain. It's not like you have to wait till you're miserable, wait till depression, wait till you're unhappy to focus on your mental health because we all can benefit from those little pauses, those little times we take for ourselves. It's not selfish to take time for yourself. I can take care of my, my circle, my tribe much better if I'm mentally sound. So that's really kind of the message, and I don't really know quite how to deliver it yet, and I'm trying to find my voice, and that's really why I've kind of taken a pause from the YouTube thing, because I just don't know exactly how to portray that and also have fun with airplanes, because I'm still having fun with my airplane. Everybody thinks I've dropped off the face of the earth, you know? But I haven't. I'm still out here having a great time. Literally dropping off the face of the earth. Right, just having a great time, throwing it off cliffs and stuff. It's rad, right? But. It is okay to take a moment, maybe not fly the airplane if you're not feeling great that day. Maybe you need to go you know, to a movie or find your significant other or do something. You know, Connect with people and just realize that you, you, know, you don't necessarily have to succumb to the pressures of life all the time. Sometimes you can take a break, you know? And guys, that was my dear friend, Corey Robbins, sharing some of his story and the importance of your mental health, the importance of the well-being. If you're having struggles, you're having challenges, this is the time to reach out, whether it's to a friend or to a helpline. I can't thank him enough for being so honest and sharing the pain and the journey that he's been on as he wants to bring more people to a better place in life. And that's really what we're all about here at Aviator. Behind me, it's Thanksgiving night, so we're actually premiering this video on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Right now, you see a group of who's left, who hasn't gone home yet, uh, of our Aviator family, who all came together to share a meal and just the gratitude we have for this life we get to share. And a big part of it for us is that we get to teach people how to fly, because we truly have seen that as you learn to fly, as you see the world from a different perspective and you do something that's bigger than yourself, it shifts who you are and it helps you through some of those challenging moments. Whether it's with an airplane like Corey or with paramotors like us or airplanes too because we like to fly all the things. We're just so honored to be in this life and to do amazing things and to be able to share it with people just like you. And I wanted to give you an opportunity to leave a comment down below to share how flying has changed you. At Aviator, we believe that flying genuinely changes who you are through the perspective shift of life doing something super human. So thank you as always for watching. Here's Reese to show us what's coming up next week on The Aviator Show. Next week on The Aviator Show. This has been two of the longest days I can remember in a long time, but welcome back to Salt Lake City, Utah, where we are gonna go for a rip with Ghost around the Great Salt Lake. <gasps> Tune in to explore and fly more of beautiful Utah. It's Ross! Ross on the go! With all your favorite aviator family. It's like, dude, this is such a playground. Enjoy stunning and more epic drone cinematography. I'm foot dragging the shit out of these shows. My girlfriend's gonna kill me. Then, the adventure continues as we pick up Jordan 
and head to the mountains to play in some snow. <laughs> Will Reese get the shot or come home empty handed? It was just right there. You had it in the palm of your hand. Tune in next week to find out.